What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Kristen and I want to apologize for the state of the background right now. I know that um, it's not that great, but uh, I am in the baby's room and I'm trying to figure out my filming situation. Um, so I'm working with what I got right now. Um, so just bear with me. In a month, this could completely be different, and I'll be in a different room. <laughs> I really wanted to get this video out uh, before I did the nursery video, but it just didn't work out that way, and I'm not one to like rush something if I really don't like it. I actually kind of rushed through editing the uh, nursery video, and I don't really like it. <laughs> I... Um, I didn't edit some things out that I should have, like me correcting myself um, and re-saying things <laughs> because I didn't like how it sounded or I screwed up. So there's that. I, I really wanted to get this out, just be able to direct people to this video so that they know what's going on because I have had a few people ask um, what's going on with the baby and uh, where we're at in that. I can really only tell you so much. I can't give you the details of why we have her. I can't um, tell you things that are said uh, in court. I can't do any of that um, legally. I, I just can't. So it's, it's hard to sit down and make a video updating her um, situation when I can't give you the entire story, but I can tell you that we are in the beginning stages of adoption. She has been with us for 17 months. She um, officially came into our care um, when she was a month old. Uh, she has never lived anywhere but our home. She came home from the hospital here. Originally, I thought um, it would be a good idea for Dawn to stay with us while she recovered from her C-section. Her apartment has stairs and it just wasn't um, a good idea for her to be alone in an apartment with stairs with a baby and she's got a C-section and there wasn't really anybody there to like care for her. I, I just thought that as her mom, I should go ahead and have her stay here and I can help her just sort of get a feel for her routine and her um, different cries and things like that because it takes a while to learn your baby. I mean, you've been pregnant with them for nine months, but you are just getting to know each other. And the baby came home on oxygen and a uh, monitor. I wanted her to feel comfortable readjusting that in the middle of the night because baby would kick it off and stuff. I wanted her to be comfortable giving her a bath. I wanted her to be comfortable giving her her medicine. I wanted to be, her to be comfortable doing all the things that I knew she would have to do when I wasn't there. And so she came home from the hospital to our home. She has never lived anywhere else. And I'm so thankful for that because she has always felt safe and loved and wanted and that's all I can ever, I, I could have ever wanted for her at, at this point in her life is to feel safe and loved and wanted and to have every one of her needs met. We are 17 months in and in the adoption process and we couldn't be more excited. Obviously, this is not the way we wanted this to turn out. I wanted to be the grandma. I wanted to stop by and help. I wanted to babysit. I wanted to give love and cuddles, but I wasn't looking to be a parent again. I wasn't looking to start over. My husband got a vasectomy, like <laughs> we were done having babies, but it's like, the universe just looked at us and said, no, you guys, you're not done yet. And so here we are. <laughs> With her adoption comes another announcement. We are changing her name. 
I know it's controversial. I actually don't care what your opinion is on it. Uh, this is my kid, not yours. So you can do with yours what you want and I'll do with mine what I want. And the state says that I can rename her, so we're going to. Our reasoning behind that is she's never... Dawn, Dawn named her Paisley Joanne. Joanne is after my husband's grandma who passed. We were actually um, leaving her funeral when we discovered that Dawn was pregnant. Like, she was puking in a McDonald's cup and I said, you're taking a test tonight. And she did, she sent me the picture. I didn't believe her at first and then it's true. Paisley is just a random name that Dawn picked out of thin air. I'm not sure where she got it. I assume because it's so popular. I would venture a guess that maybe one of her friends threw it out there and she just liked Paisley Joanne. Um, I really had to push to get the Joanne in there. I said that it would really mean a lot to her dad, my husband. She was going to just name her Paisley Marie after herself. When she was born and I looked at her, she was not Paisley. I didn't know what her name was, but it was not Paisley. She is not that name. And I think a lot of people will agree with me when I say that there are some people that are just their name. Like you couldn't pick a different name for that baby if you tried because that is their name. My oldest son, Gage, his name is Gage. His name has been Gage. It was supposed to be Nicholas, <laughs> but it's Gage. And he couldn't be anything else. I wouldn't even begin to know what other name he he would be. Like, he is a Gage. Owen, same thing. He's an Owen. And Paisley just was not Paisley. Um, I called her Squish because I didn't feel right calling her Paisley. It just didn't... It couldn't come out of my mouth. It squish totally came out. Um, the minute I met her for the first time, I said, I walked up to the, to the bed and I said, hey squish, she's screaming her little head off the way she still does now. And she just got quiet and she just knew. And I knew and it was magic. And that was just her name from then on, we called her Squish. And it wasn't until we really came to terms with the fact that this baby was ours. Like she's not going home. She, there's, there's just not a likelihood that it's going to happen that Dawn is going to end up with this baby. That is when we started thinking of names. We called her Evelyn. We called her Vivian. We called her, we called her a lot of different names to try to figure out what she was. And then one day my husband and I were talking about it in the car and I was like, what about Maggie Mae? What about that? Because when I think of how his grandma was, that is who who this baby is like she is so much like her she loves to feed people she's bossy she's she's uh she's so sweet and she loves everybody and everything and that's who his grandma was and I was like, what about Maggie? His grandma was named Margaret. I'm not really in love with that name, but I love the name Maggie. And May is his grandma's partner's middle name. Her name was Shirley May. And it, it just fit. And it fits who she is. So we are changing her name to Maggie May. Um, we call her that, that's what she answers to. It's like she was never anything else. She's never been another name. She never really answered to Paisley either. And it wasn't, I mean, I was the only one calling her Squish. Like my husband and 
her aunts and or her aunt and uncles would call her Paisley. So she was hearing that name quite a bit, and I would even sometimes call her that, but it didn't feel right. You know what I mean? And so we decided to go ahead and just change her name and it's very long-winded to get to this point. But she's Maggie Mae, and she's going to be our daughter. <laughs> um, we're hoping within the next few months we will have it all figured out and done. In my last video, I have I have another uh, turn of events. Things things just they're happening. Our I was just telling somebody today that our relationship has never just been calm. Like there's always something happening. To add to Maggie May's adoption, we are in it for another year or so um, because there's going to be another baby. And I, I mentioned that in my last video. I'm talking about baby boys bed in the nursery. I don't want to call it a nursery because that does, it doesn't feel like a nursery. <laughs> but that there's there and and I talked about it in another video too that there was a possibility that we be we would be taking on um another baby. Um so we are. We're he should be here sometime early next year. Um, the due date is very hush-hush. Uh, Don's not telling anybody when he's actually due. Um, I have my suspicions as to why that is. But, uh, yeah. So, early next year, we will have another little baby in the house. And we don't know... Um, really any specifics for him. Uh, we do know his name, but I'm not releasing it because there's no point. We are just preparing. I'm terrified and I'm excited too. I don't... I'm excited for another baby. I'm excited to get the cuddles and the snuggles and the new baby smell. I'm not excited for what's to come. I'm not excited for the hurt that is inevitable. I'm not in excited for visits and court and all this other stuff that's going to have to go on. And I don't know. I, I'm not excited for that part, but I am so excited for this little baby. This guy is going to be so loved and so taken care of and all of his needs are going to be met and he is going to be safe and happy just like Maggie Mae and that's that's it like and that's the goal is to keep him safe and happy just like her. That's the update on on where we're at in her situation and our coming situation and uh, just about everything. So I think that's all I have to say right now and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Have this feeling, haven't felt for so long. Took a hold of me and won't let go. I've been sleeping, caught me off my guard. You're in my space and now I'm so Shadow